Hey everyone, welcome to Logan's Mosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Johan Huizinga once said, No other discipline has its portal so wide open to the general public as history. Speaking of history, it's time to reminisce on music history. During each episode of Music History, I will tell you about some interesting music events that have happened today, November 17th. Unfortunately, it would take too long to cover everything that took place today, so I narrowed the list down to 10 crucial moments. I put them in chronological order. Let's begin. First, on this day in 1944, future member of the Birds, Gene Clark, was born. Happy Heavenly Birthday to him. On this day in 1966, Jeff Buckley took his first breath. Happy Heavenly Birthday, Jeff. On this day in 1979, Jethro Tull's top-tier bassist John Glasscock tragically passed away at age 28. His death was caused by a congenital heart defect. Rest in peace, John. On this day in 1980, Former Beatle John Lennon put out an album titled Double Fantasy merely one month before his untimely death. Him and his wife Yoko took turns singing through 14 different songs. Double Fantasy managed to go triple platinum in America alone. On this day in 1990, David Crosby was involved in a frightening motorcycle crash. Stupidly, he decided not to wear a helmet. Although he survived, the crash caused a broken leg, shoulder, and ankle. On this day in 1998, following an eight-year break, Whitney Houston finally unleashed her fourth studio album known as My Love Is Your Love. It featured multiple memorable tunes such as I Learned From The Best, the title track, and When You Believe. The album performed rather well, selling more than 4 million copies in the U.S. On this day in 2003, 21-year-old Britney Spears broke the record for the youngest to receive a star on the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame. Also on this day in 2003, country legend Blake Shelton wed his beautiful bride, Kaynette Williams. Their marriage only lasted three years. On this day in 2014, beloved boy band One Direction distributed their fourth studio album, creatively called Four. Stellar songs like Night Changes and Steal Your Girl helped this album earn a platinum certification in America. Last but not least, on this day in 2021, Keith Allison met his demise. Keith was 79. He collaborated with a wide variety of musicians, among them Sonny and Cher, Roy Orbison, The Beach Boys, Chuck Berry, Alice Cooper, and Paul Revere and the Raiders. Rest in peace, Keith. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing that occurred on November 17th? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.